The Herschel Pop Quiz has been my go-to backpack for the past few years now, but I've been looking to branch out into something a little more lightweight. So here I am with the Fjallraven Kankin and absolutely loving it. I wanted to share my thoughts on the bag and maybe help you make a decision on whether or not to pick it up. The Kankin comes in at 16 litres, which sounds significantly smaller than the 22 litre Herschel Pop Quiz, but because of its more regular form, you actually get a fair amount of stuff in there in comparison. As a fairly big lad, I was worried that the Kankin would look comically small on me, but having a more compact, lightweight bag was the entire point of getting it in the first place. I also have a tendency to fill every bag that I'm wearing, even with things I don't need. So being forced to really focus on the essentials helped me to keep the load a little bit lighter. And I honestly still feel like I can fit everything I need into it for a really great day out. Something that my niece clearly appreciated as the Cancan became the go-to place for her stuffed animals. And she also got to ride on my shoulders for just that little bit longer because I wasn't being bogged down with the weight of my backpack. We actually had a really fun weekend in Liverpool for this bank holiday. And as soon as I left the house and began to feel just how light and comfortable this backpack is. All of that self-consciousness about my size went away as I just really enjoyed using the bag. In fact, not even once in the Museum of Liverpool did I feel like I was getting in the way or blocking somebody's path. That often happens when I'm wearing a slightly bigger bag. And honestly, it just felt really freeing, which is brilliant because at its heart, the Kankan is a feel-good backpack. It comes in an array of playful colors and its simple childlike design can make any day out in the city or at the beach feel even more fun. Something else that makes it perfect for the beach is the fact that it's really waterproof and easy to dust down. Especially if you know you'll have a big carrier bag on you with things like wet beach towels in there, having a lightweight backpack that you can hardly feel on your shoulders is just gonna ease that burden and make the whole thing more enjoyable. The seating pad is surprisingly comfortable too if you can't quite find that perfect spot on the beach. It is a little bit flimsy looking and it's quite difficult to get back into the bag especially if you've got items in there already, but I definitely appreciate it and I think it's a really nice touch. Coming from Herschel and maybe a more traditional backpack, I did have to get used to handling the Cancun in a slightly different way. This is the first bag I've owned that opens all the way down to the base, which definitely makes it much easier to find things at the foot of your bag. I also came to really appreciate the handle, which offers a lot more control over the bag than what I'm used to on the Herschel Pop Quiz. There are some drawbacks, and one of those is the inside sleeve, which is roomy enough for an iPad, but I really don't feel confident putting a MacBook in there. If you are planning to use a MacBook in the bag, you might wanna go for a slightly bigger model. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to throw that seating pad aside and the MacBook will feel fairly unprotected against the raw material of the Kankin. One thing that I did really miss from the Herschel was the little compartment that you've got on the top of the bag where you can keep things like sunglasses. Having to keep your sunglasses in a case and reaching in and out of your bag to put them on and take them off it gets really annoying to be honest throughout the entire day. So you better get used to rocking that sunglasses on the top of the head look. And you know what, potentially both of these drawbacks can be rectified by the sheer modularity that the Kankin offers you. You can get so many different compartments for the Kankin, including the photo insert, which I got the other day and completely transforms the Kankin into a lightweight, customizable camera bag. I'm gonna come out with an entirely separate view on that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna see how that goes. Beyond the camera pouch, you can also get gear pockets, toiletry bags, and even a mini cooler. So yeah, it's really cool how much you can tailor this bag to your needs. Of course, all of those accessories are gonna to add to what is already a fairly premium priced bag. 85 pound for the standard Kankin. Accessories like the photo insert can come up to 100 pounds extra. But you know what? Not everybody is gonna be using it as a camera bag. And ultimately, the Kankin is just an incredibly fun and convenient day pack for trips into the city or to the beach. If you are a bigger guy like me and you're worried about the size of it on your back, you really don't have to. Yeah, it's quite small and potentially a little bit twee, but there are bigger models that you can go for if you really are worried about that. And honestly, it will all fall away when you realize just how practical and convenient this bag is. I'm really excited to keep using this Kankin and get some more wear out of it. Let me know down below how you use your Kankin and whether you have any other backpacks that you think I should check out. For now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in a bit.